Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Akshay uh, with my co-founder, Charles, here. Uh, we are both PhD candidates at Cornell University in information science and computer science. So deep learning enables exciting new applications, and there's no doubt about it. The question remains, how can companies leverage it? And we strongly believe that uh, we need a unified visual data analytics platform that it is essential to connect this visual data stored in a database with deep learning and provide a user interface. Consider these three different verticals, forensic security tools, digital asset management, and product visual discovery. What you will realize is that even though these three fields look different, they have significant shared overlapping needs and business requirements. Uh, in each one of them, you need to store videos and images you want to collect annotations. Then you want to apply some form of deep learning pipeline that might include object detection, uh, you know, face recognition, indexing, and clustering for visual search. And eventually, you want to provide this visual search to your customers. You want to integrate these uh, analytics into your you know, third-party analytics tools and BI tools so that they can be used by the, analyt uh, the analysts. So when you look at the open source uh, platforms today, you have Postgres and Spark for relational data. For full text and uh, search, you have Lucene, Solar, Elasticsearch. But there is no such end-to-end -end platform for visual data. You have these libraries like TensorFlow, Cafe, but you don't have a way to maintain state. Uh, if you look at the marketplace, you have Google Cloud Platform, Amazon Recognition, Clarify, uh, which provide low-level cloud-based APIs. You have Grok-style GumGum, which provide applications and APIs for a specific a vertical. And finally, you have Pinterest, which provides visual search for end users and customers. What we plan to build is a complete stack with user interface that can be quickly customized across multiple domains and can serve as a foundation for future vision apps. So. For example, with deep video analytics, you can store videos and images. You can collect and organize annotations. You can apply deep learning algorithms. You can index and perform visual search. But best of all, it can work on-prem. It can be hosted. It can work on AWS plus Heroku. And finally, it can be integrated with your existing third-party services and tools. And best of all, it's already out there. It's currently on GitHub, and it's receiving amazing amount of attention. So uh, you can go away and write, right away test it and see if it works or not. So uh, about, about a bit about commercializing deep video analytics. We believe that it's possible to deploy deep video analytics as a managed Heroku plus AWS app for specific enterprise users. It might also be possible to build a custom platform for specific verticals such as advertising, video game streams, dash cams, et cetera. And finally, for government and law enforcement, uh, it's possible to license and support for on-prem deployments. Uh, we plan to start the company by end of June and start working with initial pilot customers and switch to more customers by end of 2017. So in before 1970s, you had these vertical-specific databases, right? But in 1970s, people came up with uh, or uh, specifically came up with relational databases and that revolutionized application development. We believe that deep video analytics will also revolutionize computer vision application by removing duplicated effort that uh, several today's startups have to do. Thanks. Okay, round of applause. Well done. <laughs> Judges, who has questions? Yeah. Yale from Yahoo. Um, a lot of hurdle in building large scale computer vision systems is in data annotation. Um, having this kind of unified framework, I think you could uh, have some smart features on kind of speeding up the data annotation process. Is there any effort on it? Yeah, so right now we uh, directly provide an annotation UI, and the goal is essentially that once you have, let's say, a set of images, you pre compute a bunch of you know, existing object detection and annotation, like. Uh, indexing tools, and then uh, exposes seam seamlessly through AWS Mechanical Turk or something. So we already have an annotation UI that sort of shows you the already detected objects. 
with the goal to speed up the annotation process by both you know, detection as well as indexing based feedback. Any judges who haven't said anything yet? Who's next? There you go. Andrew. Hi, Andrew from Pinterest. All right. So I'm curious, like your system, is it possible to have like custom classification models, custom object detection models? Yeah, exactly. So the, the way we are thinking about is that a, a normal relational database has concept of indexers, right? So you have indexes. So similarly, we have an inception based index. We have a FaceNet based index. We have an AlexNet based index. Uh, the detectors can also be customized. So we have a YOLO based detector. We have an SSD based detector. We have a text proposal network. Uh, the essential goal is that by abstracting away these operations into you know, these pluggable parts, we can, have, uh, we can create essentially a visual data database. Uh, we also have uh, you know, approximate nearest neighbors that just can be tagged onto any one of these indexers. One last question, who's next? Anybody, Jan Eric? Hi, uh, Jan Eric. Yeah. Uh, did you see the presentation this morning from Manohar at uh, Facebook? Oh, uh, sadly, I missed it. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, so the, the question was uh, maybe kind of take another question. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I mean, it, it was in relation to they seem to be uh, doing sort of similar things up in that quadrant of, of general. Uh, applications with the same infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. So I just mean the asking if you, is yeah, there anything the, there that you could learn from that? Yeah, the only point that I would, I would add is that our system is extremely portable, so it can run on a single machine without a GPU to all the way to like AWS cloud with like a distributed setup. Yeah. One last one, Adina. Because it's such a sort of, Adina has a from Glasswing, because it's a, a sort of a general database, it could apply to many end markets. What, what do you think are sort of the one or two that you would go after first, and where's the biggest pain point? Uh, I think the biggest one is applications that require a higher level of privacy. So if you are an organization collecting, let's say, your dash cam footage, you want a way to process some of it locally and then put some of it on the cloud. And that's what we offer that, you know, Clarify or AWS recognition cannot right now offer. Okay, thank you. Round of applause, folks. Thank you very much.